Today we're gonna do something called the quick flip. I've also referred to it as a Frankenstein build. The idea behind it is that we flipped and built so many computers, we have a ton of extra parts that you know you either took out of specific builds and didn't use in the in the refurbishing or the, the rebuild of that system, and you know they're just sitting around. Now you've got a whole bunch of parts sitting in your closet, like I do. I have a whole bunch of parts sitting in my closet, and they're just taking up space. So we need to build a computer with all of the stuff that didn't make it into other builds. Kind of like an abomination. But before I show you the parts that are going into that build, I do want to show you something cool. I've been doing that for two years, but I've been saved. This is FlexiSpot's E6Q sit-stand desk. Unlike most common two-legged structured sit-stand desks, this desk comes with four legs, making it more stable with a weight capacity of 220 pounds. The included LED control panel has a convenient memory function, which does allow you to save preferred desk heights so that you can easily control your desk so it is always at the perfect height. And talking about height, this thing does raise to 47.2 inches, which is extremely tall and perfect for somebody like myself who is six foot two. Make sure you check out the E6Q link in the description below. Not not to mention, there is a lot less wobble on this desk due to the fact that this thing does have four legs. So thank you, FlexiSpot, for sponsoring this episode of the Build Up Challenge by sending us your E6Q desk. It really is a game changer for this channel. Plus, now I don't have to manually lower one side of my desk. So let me show you what we're going to be using for today's quick flip. I'm going to go grab it. All right, here we are. Just a casual B760 gaming plus Wi-Fi board. Just kidding, it is not at all a B760. What it is, is this E97 ASUS board. All right, let me get my handy dandy motherboard stand. Much better. Now, for those of you guys who have seen all the episodes of the Build Up Challenge and you are a huge fan of this series, then you may recognize this board. What it is is an Asus Z97 board with 32 gigs of DDR3 RAM, and inside the CPU socket is an i7 4790K CPU. So it is pretty old, but this board CPU and RAM, this exact board CPU and RAM, was used in season one's build up challenge. Pretty sure it was like episode 10, it had like a little digital screen in it. It was really nice. And you guys might be wondering, if it was in the build up challenge and we sold that system, why on earth am I in possession of it again? Well, that is because the person who purchased the original system from me did bring it back to me so that I could upgrade it for him. And that's exactly why I have a B760 motherboard box here, because this is what he upgraded to. Now I can see your gears turning through the camera and wondering why would I put this in another build if the guy who owned it previously returned it so that he could upgrade it. Well, you have to remember the original system that the gentleman did purchase. Those act as starter PCs. You know, a, a computer is a huge investment, especially now with prices going up. And if you wanted to just play games, you could just go get a PlayStation or an Xbox. You spend five or six hundred dollars and play games. A computer is not that. A computer is a you know, it's an investment these days. It's a, you know, it's a luxury, honestly, to have a gaming PC. So, you know, you start with something like this, and then if you really enjoy gaming and you really enjoy your computer and you want it to be faster, that's when you start to upgrade. You don't start with a $3,000 computer if you have no idea if you like PC gaming. You start with something small, like what this was, and then you work your way up. Now, obviously, a motherboard, CPU, and RAM is not an entire PC, so I have to go get the rest of the stuff that's going in our system. Here is the case. Here is the cooler. We got our power supply, everyone's favorite thermal will take 700 watt power supply. I got some storage, a 3.5 inch spinning drive and a SATA SSD. Some cable extensions, just cause it's cheap doesn't mean it can't look clean. And our graphics card, which is a uh, RX 580. I don't know if you remember this RX 580, but we pulled it out of our last episode of the Build Up Challenge, the original starting PC. And uh, we're gonna be putting it 
in here. Now, out of everything that you see on the desk, two things are brand new. I picked up a brand new case. This is not, you know, some old case. I picked this up brand new. It's like 60 bucks. It comes with two 140 millimeter fans in the front, I think. Is this, are these 140s? Nope, those are 120s. So it has 120 millimeter fans in the front, two of them, and one 120 millimeter fan in the back for an exhaust. Very standard. It's a Gamdius case. And the other new item is the cable extensions here. Now, I am a sucker for a cable extension. Not only does it clean things up, but you can also use colored ones to kind of, you know, make your system pop a little bit more. Remember, we're flipping PCs. So if you're gonna be flipping PCs, you have to make the system look good because that's the first thing that anyone sees about your computer is how it looks. And cable extensions do a great job of improving the visual appearance of every single PC. Now everything else here is just stuff that was given to me or it was pulled out of previous flips and I didn't put it back into the final product and we're just going to reuse it because I don't want it sitting in my closet collecting dust. So what we've got here is a Thermaltake Smart 700 watt power supply. I took this power supply out of a previous build because I was going to be putting a very powerful graphics card in that system. I didn't want this power supply to be powering that graphics card. So we're going to be reusing it in this system. 700 watts is way too much for an RX 580 and an i7-4790K, but what do you, what else? I mean, what else can I say? It's a cheap power supply. It's going to do the job. Now I have a 240 gig SATA SSD. No idea where I got that from. And a one terabyte 3.5 inch drive. I think I got this out of either the last flip or the flip before that. Um, we're just going to be putting it in here for some extra storage. And the RX 580 obviously came out of last week's uh, PC build challenge episode. So we're going to be using that inside of this. This is probably, you know, an 8 gig card. It'll help us get some decent gameplay from our system while, you know, not breaking the bank in budget. And somebody gave me this 240 uh, millimeter AIO. I, I bought something from somebody and they said, hey, do you want this? And I said, sure. And it's a complete AIO. I, I'm praying it works. If it doesn't work, I have a backup plan, but you know, we're gonna get it out of here, make this uh, a liquid cooled PC. Now, because this is a quick flip, we should quickly get started because I do really, really wanna see how this system looks once we have it all put together. Plus, I wanna see what the gameplay is like because it's been a long time since I've played on a system this old and I wanna see just how capable this system is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we get started. I do have one thing to say. I wanted to let any new viewers know that this is called the PC Build Up Challenge because we build and sell these systems for a profit and we save up all the money that we've earned to eventually get to the point where we can build an ultra gaming PC that's gonna sit on your desk. I'm not kidding, you can wake up every day, look at it and play as many games on it as you want. In order to qualify and win the PC that we are working so hard to build, you do need to be a member of the PC Rehab Discord server. I drop a link to join that server in every single video that I make so that it's easy to find. It is 100% free and you're going to be amongst a crowd of like-minded PC enthusiasts. Okay, now we can build this thing.
So just because a PC is old, doesn't mean it can't look great. Honestly, I think it looks pretty darn good for a PC that's primarily made up of stuff that didn't make it into other PCs. Now please remember, you gotta stick around because I'm gonna need your help at the end of this video coming up with a list price for this system. Plus we need to go over how much money we have in our bank to build the epic gaming system that is gonna belong to you. Now this was supposed to be a quick flip because I already had all the parts for the system. Plus, you know, it's not a very complicated build, but it ended up being so much more of a headache than it needed to be. First off, this AIO and this case do not get along. This is like the, I think it's called the Talos E3 case by Gamdius, and this is a older style Corsair 240 millimeter AIO, and you have like so many cables that come off of the pump head here, plus there's absolutely like no space to route cables. It was a nightmare. I spent like 30 minutes just trying to get cables through the top portion here and make this thing not look crazy. I would suggest not going with this combo if this is ever something that is presented to you. The other thing that was super annoying about this PC, and it took an enormous amount of time to resolve, was installing Windows on this system. Now, I installed a fresh version of Windows 10 because this is an older CPU. It won't run Windows 11, so you have to use Windows 10. And I guess the file was corrupted or something because once we got into this system, there was no file manager. Like, you know, the little icon down at the bottom in your taskbar that looks like a folder so that you can access all of your files. That didn't exist and you couldn't add it on there anywhere. I, it was the weirdest thing ever. Now you could Windows key and E to get into the file manager, but we're selling this PC to somebody, probably somebody who doesn't understand how you know, computers work. You can't have that. It needs to work perfectly so that we can get more people into PC gaming. I mean, that's that's what we're doing here. We're trying to sell uh, this system to somebody probably who has never had a PC before and it needs to run well so that that person feels confident in their computers and can continue to enjoy PC gaming for the long term. The other thing that was crazy is you couldn't update that version of Windows. I don't know why it just would not update. Every time you tried, the system would freeze and restart. And I was very very concerned that there may have been something wrong with the system. But after I went ahead and reinstalled Windows, everything worked just fine. So it must have just been a corrupted Windows file. And you know, one, thankfully there was a resolution to it because for a minute there, I thought that this PC was just toast. I thought we were done. And that would have really irritated me because this thing looks really good and it's gonna make some young gamer, some somebody new to PC gaming, really happy. Now there was one more unfortunate thing that happened while putting this system together. I got Windows taken care of, Steam was on the system. We were just about to go ahead and test some gameplay and I realized my capture card was broken. So while the build cost for this system may have been unbelievably cheap, it actually was more expensive than you realize. Now losing the capture card is unfortunate. I'll get another one, but that is what I use to record the gameplay from our system so that you guys can see just how well the systems perform. Now there are other ways to capture the footage. I could download like OBS or I could use like Nvidia software, obviously not with this card, but you can use that software to screen record the gameplay and then you know, you can just use that. Now you will see a little bit of a hit to performance because you are using the computer to screen record while you're also, you know, gaming on the system. But with this system, you have a very hard time doing that. I tested three games with this system and I screen recorded every single bit of it. But when I went back to go look and rewatch the gameplay to make sure everything looked good, it looked horrendous. Now, in order to try and show you how well this system does perform, my solution was to just record the monitor of me playing some specific games. So, in Marvel Rivals at a medium preset, we were able to get 88 FPS average, which honestly, I was very impressed at that average because I did not at all think that we were gonna be able to get that kind of gameplay. Now, the gameplay did look a little grainy because it is an older system, but 100% playable, it looked pretty darn good. In Forza 5, also at a medium preset, we were getting 91 FPS. Now this gameplay did not at all look grainy. It looked very good. I was very, very impressed at how, you know, I'm, honestly, it's Forza 5. It's Forza 5 does a great job of performing on pretty much every single system. 
Other companies should look at Forza 5 at how they optimize that game because it's just, it's great. It runs great on everything. And lastly, I wanted to take a look at Factorio. Now, Factorio is locked at 60 FPS, but I wanted to see how well the CPU kept up in that game because in Factorio, there is so much going on and it can really start to beat a CPU down. So I wanted to see if a 4790K could still keep up and it honestly did a pretty decent job. Oh, it got like a steady 60. It never dropped below 60 FPS. So now is that fun period of time where we get to go over how much it cost us to build this PC, as well as where we stand in total funds to build the computer that's gonna belong to you. So let me grab my phone because all of the important information is on here. I am totally not used to having this much desk space. This is pretty crazy. So everything inside of this PC was pulled out of other flips for this season of the Build Up Challenge. The only two things that are new are the case and the cable extensions. And realistically, if I could have redone that, I probably would have gone with a different case. $93 is what I spent for the case and the cable extensions. That is obviously after tax, but I feel like I probably could have gotten something else. Now, all the other budget options, especially with you know the way that pricing is going right now, they're all kind of going up. And this was like one of the cheapest options available, but $93 is what I spent for the case and the cable extensions. And realistically, the only other thing that we should pay for in this PC is the graphics card. And that's because in our last episode of the Build Up Challenge, I took this graphics card out of that original PC and I deducted $80 from that total build. So we need to add that $80 into the build cost for this system. I don't want to, but it is fair. I mean, we did take it off and then we have to add it back in if we're gonna be using it. And because of that, that's gonna bring the total build cost of this system to $173. Now we're not gonna be able to sell this system for a whole heck of a lot. So $173 for a build cost is not terrible. The reason we can't sell this system for a whole lot is because it's old. It is very old at this point in time. A 4790K, while it is still capable of playing, games you can't run windows 11 on it and windows 10 support is going away so you you really have a system that can play a lot of titles not a lot of the newest stuff but you can play like the eSport titles and you can have a lot of fun on the system so this system is really designed for a brand new gamer somebody who you know needs a system for their first gaming PC. And so you can't really charge a whole heck of a lot for this, but this right here is where I need your help because I let you guys dictate what we're gonna list this PC for. So I need you to go down into the comments and tell me what you think a good listing price for this system would be. Now don't be crazy, don't go like $500. This is not a $500 PC, but maybe 350, 350, maybe 400. 400 on like the high side but I would say maybe 350 would be the right starting price. Maybe take 300, you know, um, after all is said and done, 300 would, wouldn't be terrible price to take for this PC. Now I do want to hit you with a fun fact real quick. Now, as of recording this video, we have not sold the PC that we built in our last episode of the Build Up Challenge, but as of right now, it has 3,048 clicks on this listing. It has 5,601 video plays. It's like three seconds of watching the video and it will add that to uh, the, the counter. So 5,601 times this video has been watched. It has 76 listing saves and five listing shares. Out of all the PCs that we have ever put together on this channel, this is by far the most popular. So it's 100% gonna sell for the asking price that you guys had come up with, which was $750, which is also the, the amount of money that I said that we should probably list it for. It was my suggestion, and you guys, I guess, went along with that, and we are absolutely 100% gonna get $750 for that system. It's just a matter of time. Now, if you guys had a little bit of fun here with me today, I had an absolute blast here with you, so if you did have some fun, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you know, the like button is like really close to that, so if you just hit that like button too. It helps my channel out tremendously. Plus, I always appreciate it, just like I appreciate all the people who have signed up for my YouTube membership program. You didn't need to do that, but I love that you guys support this channel and everything that we do here. It means the world to me. Oh, and again, make sure you join the Discord server. The link is in the description down below if you wanna win the PC that I am working so incredibly hard to build 
for you guys. Oh, and off the top of my head, I just wanted to say that no matter where you are in the world, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. And I'm going to see you right here at this brand new beautiful desk for the next video.